Uh, my heart goes out to the families and communities that have been impacted by the Eagle Creek fire. Uh, it looks like there is a devastating impact on the gorge. I also want to say thank you to the firefighters, our National Guards, men and women, and first responders who are literally working around the clock to protect homes and property and of course Oregonians from the fires. Just to give you a couple of updates on the Eagle Creek fire and the current conditions. Uh, you're probably aware that we are seeing uh, unprecedented runs in this fire over the last 24 hours. It has run 13 miles in 16 hours, due in part to multiple factors, uh, winds 30 to 40 miles an hour, uh, fuels very dry uh, weather conditions. Uh, the scale of the containment efforts at this point in time, the fire is 0% contained. Uh, obviously, the cause of the fire is under investigation. Uh, we are under operating under unified command. That means we've got federal, state, interstate, and local resources all working together. Uh, today I activated an additional 250 guard troops. Uh, that means we have over a total of 600 National Guards, men and women, uh, supporting our firefighting efforts throughout the state of Oregon. Uh, last night, and I'll let some of the other folks talk about the heroic efforts to uh, save uh, critical infrastructure. Um, we were able, uh, folks working last night were able to save Multnomah Lodge, at least for the time being, uh, save uh, access uh, to our state parks and our fish hatcheries. As we all know, I-84 is closed currently. Uh, the Union Pacific Railroad is closed. Uh, we're very concerned, obviously, about the Bonneville power grid and uh, the Bull One watershed being at risk.